Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel once again, this is Mac. So, hope all of you are doing well out there in this world, and thank you very kindly for tuning into my channel. For those who are tuning into my channel for the first time, please be sure to subscribe and hit that hit that notification button, so that way you do all, all get like all of my gameplay commentary content and you don't miss anything. For those who have already subscribed to my channel, as always, a great, awesome, and you no know, thanks goes out to all of you. Very much appreciate that. That type of support does and will continue on helping my channel grow. And by all means, share my content with other people who who would enjoy this type of content as well. Now, today's video is another versus bots gameplay commentary, and guess who we. Who we are using again for this round. Yes, indeed, we are back again with this killing machine right here. Sly Stallone's character, yes, once again, John Rambo. Yes, we are back with him for the final round, at least with him anyways. And the set of, of weapons we are having him use on this video are these right here yep these are the different kinds of weapons from what he was using on my previous video that I had produced so this type of uh, light machine gun here came along with uh, the whole um, Rambo bundle so this one right here is the M60 full auto light machine gun consists ammo capacity with heavy with heavy grain rounds but provides premium stopping power and bullet economy slower rate uh, slower fire rate and handling speed so as you can see on the screen here, the way that it's all configured and so on. So just have a good look at that part of, of that uh, light machine gun here. And considering the fact that I had done some uh, remodifications and adjustment with uh, with the light machine gun and so on on the M60, I had pretty much had customized it to that. So you know, try and make it more more convenient and user friendly and having like less of the recoil and so that way I can aim down at uh, at the gun a little faster and so on and well so that way that um, you know it's 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 just a little better for, for me to handle plus as you can tell by the whole uh, uh, by the whole uh, bullet magazine which, which, which looks kind of looks like a small box of some kind I did switch that out so that way it's much easier to uh, reload much more faster it's just more kind of more convenient that way um, probably I'm pretty sure in the whole editing process I'll, I'll readjust that just a little bit as in the whole configuration of that but we'll see and along with this type of uh, light machine gun I did manage to, uh, you know, for the whole, um, for, for the whole gun set, I did, like, I did also match it up with this shotgun right here, the Gallo SA-12. 
semi-auto shotgun, reliable damage and pellet spread, heavy recoil and low visibility when sustaining fire. But as you can tell, I made some adjustments. I made some adjustments onto this, so that way it's much more obviously much more easier just to kind of handle and like for the whole recoil and if you, especially if you pull the trigger. You know, like, uh, the pellets kind of spread more evenly out towards the various sides, so that way it, it will hopefully be able to take down more than just more than just one bad guy. So that's just a little adjustment I had made with it. All right then, so we'll go ahead into uh, into uh, the lobby very briefly here with Rambo. Okay, so we already have him all set up. Let's go on ahead and have Rambo kick this gunfight off. Let's go. Team Deathmatch. All right, let's do Best this. Luck, soldier, the folks back home are counting on you. Oh shit. It's not gonna have any children during any time quick. Shit. Enemy deleted. Spy plane standing by. Spy plane established overhead. Transmitting enemy location. Well, I'm all good now. Time to move it, time to move it, come on. Well, hey, I can't help but I need to aim. Especially if I want an accurate shot. Damn, what the hell? Excellent. Firing right from the hip is always fun. All right. Shit, damn it the hell. Nope, can't do it. I was gonna try and trigger off another finishing move, but I guess I can't. Damn it the hell. Alright, whatever, okay, whatever, no big deal. Let's keep going. Oh, wait a second here. Detect chopper is out. 
That was pretty cool. Axel 3 1 MTL midpoint check. Well, oh, that really freaking bites. All right, let's get, let's get going here. Over down. He is literally a fighting machine, this guy. Trying to look at my damn radar here to see if there's any more of them. Okay, there we go. Ah, jeez. Focus here. Attack helicopter is ready to deploy. Victory is close. Make the CIA Attack proud. On targets WBR weapon top. goodness that's all i gotta say just as soon as like you know right away we're already getting uh, fairly close towards the end of uh of the whole versus bots round fairly close you know bam salones his character rambo gets whacked and as soon as he gets revived boom already we achieved victory it's like ah uh, whatever so you know I know this is not really a huge big deal kind of thing. My apologies. I, could, I wasn't able to uh, trigger off any kind of uh, uh, finishing kind of moves. I 
I tried, but it's like, well, now it, every angle I just couldn't get to it. But anyways, don't get me wrong, it was actually not too bad, but a fun game. A little kind of a rounds type of deal, especially, um, you know, using different types of uh, weapons, uh, you know, along with, uh, along with the bundle uh, for Rambo. But anywho, so now, now that, you know, um, so now that we're done with, with the gun battle in the, you know, in that whole versus boss fight, let's go on ahead into the, the whole zombie world to look and to look at the whole uh, gun review and, you know, the features on the set, on the whole set of weapons which Johnny here was using. Let's go. All right. So as you can tell here, once again. We're in the whole zombie world, in uh, pretty much uh, in the whole infected part of, well, the whole zombie version of Duga. And speaking of which, yes, Rambo right here is on top of this big ass type of antenna. Just imagine how much of the communication goes through this damn thing. Just think, one day even such uh, such uh, such creators online uh, through the whole concept of communication, like uh, that Mark Zuckerberg kind of guy and um, uh, other people who have uh, invented, like um, like well, of course Mark with uh, his Facebook, the creators of Twitter and um, Instagram and all the other stuff would be somewhat similar to maybe something like this in order to uh, have communication pass uh, pass through and I'm pretty sure you like you need some kind of a big ass antenna just to even pull something like that off but anyways I'm kind of uh, veering off the t off the topic here okay so John Rambo Right now, he what he has for the whole uh, little quick overview here of the first of the first weapon he has. This is a secondary weapon that I had Rambo here use, which is the uh, the shotgun, which is titled the Gallo SA12. Now I don't know if uh, if that's actually what it's called or not. I didn't research that, I didn't research that information uh, that further in depth, but I do know that on this on this game version here, this is called the Gallo SA12. Now, unfortunately, because of the recent updates, um, all the all the attachments that I, I wanted to try and quickly get this uh, shotgun shotgun designed. In this in this whole map or world ver, world vision here, just well as I had the same thing done, I had the same customization in place in the whole versus bots mode. It's not available. And thinking, what the hell gives with that? I was uh, I was not I was not satisfied, nor was I impressed to say the most about that part. Thinking, are you kidding me? So I I tried to uh, you know. I try to go through the whole round of the whole zombie world to see if, to see if I can get, get anything like that back or anything like that. But this this type of shotgun here is already at its max, but I still can't uh, seem to have the whole uh, features unlocked. Like that was really weird. The hell gives with that? I'll try and figure it out if I can. I can't promise anything, but I thought that was kind of really. Uh, uh, I thought that was you know. Kind of sad and dis and dissatisfying to say the most about that. Well, the same here. Like in the whole versus bots, I had uh, redesigned everything here to have like a little targeting scope on that part here. So this was the second weapon I had used in the whole versus bots, the Gallo SA12, and of course it's uh, one of those types of very powerful high blast type of shotgun that you can either uh, this is something I also had mentioned in uh, in the whole versus boss type of video with uh, with um, Bruce Thomas's character 
uh, Russell Adler. That he was using a different type of a version of shotgun, which which was the whole fumigator. That you can either aim down sight, or well, to give off a quick demonstration, it's not it's not really a, a huge type of a secret because everyone knows how a shotgun how a shotgun does operate. Um, pretty much, when it comes to firing off a blast, either aim down sight or fire from the hip. Nice little feature along with it, of course, as it is. Well, the thing is, like, even with a shotgun, even if you waste all seven rounds or however, whatever kind of shotgun is designed to to hold how many rounds per shot, because I'm pretty sure every shotgun is different, but at the same time, even if you would waste either between five or nine or more, whatever the case may be, especially in the whole uh, PS5 version of here, in this type of game version, you still need time just to... Hold on. <clears throat> it's going to waste off a few rounds here, just a demonstration. I'm pretty sure this is... It, you know, it's kind of common knowledge. Everyone would know about these things, but just to give off a quick little uh, you know, demonstration here is give off a logical point. Okay, so even if even if you are running around trying to take down uh, the opposition, like trying to take down uh, the enemy, you're going to inevitably, you know, um, I was gonna say, um, you're going to inevitably, you know, lose ammunition, and you're gonna your shotgun is gonna be emptied. I was gonna try to say that. And that's going to mean that in order to replenish like the shotgun shells or you know pretty much replenish it, that is going to take time. It's not like a common type of machine gun or automatic rifle. You take the you take the clip out or the magazine out, replace it real quick like and slam it back in and start and start, and start going all guns blazing. It's not like that. Like, don't run the shotgun, it's really nice to go all guns blazing, especially within a close proximity, and let let any enemy that's, cl that's close and nearby you have it. But at the same time, even if you waste your rounds, you know, you still need to take about roughly about 5 or 10 seconds or something like that just to even reload it again. But all the same, I figured I might as well just go ahead and just take the shotgun with me here along with the whole gun setting so that way that any any of uh, any of the enemies come nearby me I can just I can just very very quickly take a round out of them at a short distance range and just very quickly get rid of them so that way once once they're done out of the way I can go somewhere and be able to take the light machine gun and very quickly change out uh, the magazine which I had designed that already okay so Lots, hence why that was the reason why like, uh, I had chosen that shotgun for that kind of purpose. So that way that, obviously, if I'm if my light machine gun is empty, I can I can switch it out to the shotgun here and then start blasting away so I can go back to the light machine gun and start ch changing out the magazine. Okay, so once again, that was the whole Gallo SA-12. And now, Rambo's primary gun. Okay, so here is Rambo's, you know, light machine gun that that came along with the bundle. And I'm pretty sure this type of uh, light machine gun was also used in the movies as well. I'm not too sure if it's specifically that model, that same model or not, but I'm pretty sure all of you get the idea all the same here. So, now, uh, now this is not, uh, technically this is, like, this is the same model, this is... The, um, this is the M60. Now, the thing is... Oh, I'm just going to have a quick little check of something here. Oh, pretty sweet. I wasn't, I wasn't too sure if that was uh, the, a the actual Ramble light machine gun or not. That was uh, part of the bundle or not. Again, I wasn't too sure uh, offhand exactly. 
But anyways, uh, well, obviously as it is, this is not the, the exact same one that I was using. In fact, if anything, this is the exact same one that I that I was using in the whole versus bots, um, you know, shootout. This is the very same one that I was using. And it's technically nice that I've finally been able to find an M60 like this one right here. And I thought, okay, this would be a good idea and perfect for me to kind of uh, give off a bit, a bit of like a demonstration uh, very swiftly here so you can kind of uh, be able to get the whole idea here. Okay, so, now, the M60, uh, let's just say for the hell of things, like, this is, like, uh, the M60 that came along with, uh, the Rambo, uh, the Rambo bundle. Now, what I had done was, is that I had, like, uh, had done some modifications and, uh, you know, had, uh, switched out some attachments along with the M60 here into... Which you see right here, this one. And try to make things much more convenient, user-friendly, and much more easier. Especially when you're rushing on in, all guns blazing, into the whole heated battlefield and so on here. When you're in that whole type of uh, heated gunfight. Now, going back to here. With this right, right here... Now, this is, the, now this is uh, one I had purchased. I believe it was... Uh, just in that building right over there, that where I purchased it. And the thing is, is that, um, like, whenever, like, you know, with the thing is, when a gun like this is available, if you have enough, uh, if you have enough currency, you can go ahead and be able to purchase a weapon like this. Some of, like, um, some of the attachments that go along with the weapon. It's like, okay, excellent, I have the right type of scope that I need, or right type of attachments that I need, it's great. Others is kind of like, you got to be kidding me, great, now i got to work with this damn thing. So, now the only difference between with this M M60 and the other one that I was I was using, with this, with this scope right here, now, best guess I have in relations with this type of scope, it's probably at a uh, huge guess of my end, I'm just making a bit of a uh, top top little logical guess I can think of here the zoom in type of uh, scope on this th on this here would be about roughly 1.25 zoom or 137 maybe 1.75 but I'm I'm not gonna totally bet on that I'd be very surprised if, I, if I'm right on that one but at the same time I doubt that I'm probably gonna say maybe 1.25 or 1.37 or something like that. Again, that's just a guess. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% dead on sure on that one. But with the scope that I did attach with this one right here, the scope is just a little bit deeper and further. It's like it's like a it's like a two times the zoom in type of scope, and it's actually quite nice, especially like um. For a uh, fairly good distant, uh, distant range or distant uh, type of uh, objective away, so you can be able to target your objective no problem, which is really quite nice. Provided that if uh, you have a very good type of uh, steady aim and you know you can be able to have a very good razor sharp type of uh, keen sense of sight that you can be able to take your target out. That's just uh, something I'm just kind of, you know, just uh, saying. Really, that that's all. Like you have, a, like in other words, you're a, you're a pretty, you're a pretty, like a, you can pick off your targets no problem. You're a very good sharpshooter, in other words. So I went, so obviously as it is, just went with this one right here because is, like you know, I prefer a scope where I have a good type of very sharp type of accurate type of uh, type of targets. So I can ping off my targets no problem. But then again. You know, when it comes to customization, to each his own kind of thing, to me this helps. And the really nice thing about that is that, well, I'm not too sure if the other one has that. No, I didn't think it does. Now, to me, this weapon here is almost similar to the shotgun. Well, especially the way I designed it. Uh, not, this, not this one that I purchased. Because this one right here, this M60... It doesn't have, it, it probably has like a, a little flashlight underneath his belly. I'm going to try to see if I can be able to 
Let's see if we can show that. Okay, you can kind of see that at the far at the far left, at the end of the barrel there. There is a flashlight, and yeah, I suppose it's okay for dark places, because like obviously when you go in dark places you can't see anything. But like obviously as it is out in bright daylight, well, there's clearly no. It's kind of it's kind of useless. There's no really no need for that. It's a, it's a. Well, I don't want I don't want to say the word futile because that obviously means that it's useless, hopeless. But at the same time, like uh, I'd rather go with just useless because like well, it's again it's broad daylight and you don't you don't really need the flashlight. I, well, again, unless you have some very good eyes, that's different. As for the the other M60 that I was using. If you can be able to see uh, a red type of laser beam kind of sticking out, that is what I had had done. That's what I had used in order to attach along with it, because like uh, so that way it's kind of, to me it's kind of like a shotgun because not only can you be able to, if you choose to ping uh, like uh, just to ping your targets off through the scope, like uh, just you know. Aim, aim it down through the scope like this, or if you want to, considering the fact you do have uh, a, a laser sighting sticking out underneath uh, the barrel, you can also shoot from the hip. Again, just make things very, uh, make things very type of convenient, so that way when I when I'm at a close proximate type of uh, range with any of the targets, and that laser, that type of laser sighting here could be able to help us, especially if I want to have a either an accurate or a decent accurate type of type of a shot, especially from the hip, right there, boom, that helps, and it's very nice and convenient, and I just finished using that as well. And now for the whole, uh, uh, I keep I keep on thinking bullet casing. Well, the whole bullet magazine that that's attached with the light machine gun. Now. The reason why I switched that out is because now here is a typical common type of uh, bullet magazine that I had used along with it. Now it's going to fire off. Uh, it's going to fire off a few a few rounds, and I'm going to show you the the whole little uh, differences between between the two. Here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and reload it. Now, that took anywhere between about roughly, a huge rough, 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 roughly, give or take, a, a bit of a rough type of estimate kind of guess here. I'd say about six, maybe seven seconds. Roughly, give or take. Six or seven seconds. And it's a, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass in that, in that type of sense because if you're dealing with a, with a submachine gun or an automatic, or an automatic rifle, that literally does not take very long just to switch out the clip. It doesn't. With something like this, that took anywhere between about, like I said, six or seven seconds, roughly give or take. And especially if you're in that one of those moments where you're in a heated gun battle, you're, you know, you run out of bullets with a gun like this. I'm pretty sure it's steady in there. <laughs> Jeez. If you're running at bullets with a gun like that, and you end up wanting to switch the, the uh, you know, the huge, the huge magazine out, that's going to take in between about six or seven, six or seven seconds worth of your time. And meanwhile, someone is already is already targeting you, and willing, and if they've got sharp eyes and a steady type of hand, and if they're if they're a very good sharpshooter, boom, they'll be able to take you out no problem, and you're in the middle of switching out a clip. That doesn't help. Hence, why you're gonna have to run like a you know hightail it out of there, run somewhere, hide so you can be able to very quick, very safely and very quickly, if you can, switch out the clip. Now the thing is, now we've already had seen on how you can be able to commonly switch out the clip with a light machine gun. Now, with my M60 of the way I customize it. 
Okay, so again, everything uh, with everything uh, the way I had customized it and switched everything out and so on, there's always a good logical reason as to why why I had done it. Okay, so gonna once again switch out. Go ahead, just like um, fire off a few rounds. Okay, now gonna switch out the clip again. And watch on how easy and much convenient and how bit of a slightly less time it is. To me, well, it wasn't top notch, top, top notch, the most easiest thing to do, but at the same time, in my perspective, that was a little easier, slightly easier, just a little bit more easier for me anyways. Now, having said that, if you want to tuck around the corner just for like a couple seconds and switch that out, that's optional. If you still want to run somewhere and, and hide and switch out the clip, you know, I'm not gonna jump. To, I'm not going to object to that. In fact, if anything, I probably would. I probably would do the same thing. So like, I can very quickly switch out the clip, and hopefully, I'm not being targeted or about to be gunned down or sniped out or something like that. But that's just you know my little take on that per se. But that that's the only thing right there. It and when I had looked at some some of the the pros and cons, that's about roughly. I think I if I read this correctly about. 20 or 30 percent uh, quick reload I think it was that you could be able to very quickly take that box of that whole magazine out or the clip out put uh, very quickly switch another uh, switch another one out with uh, with a full one and just take the whole um, like a chain full of uh, bullets and just very quickly feed on into it and something like that took about roughly give or take um, I think uh, not entirely 100% sure on this, but about roughly give or take four to five seconds, I think. Maybe, 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 maybe six. Uh, but don't quote me on that one, but I think it, it was like ranging in between about four to six seconds. But like I said before, it wasn't the, necessarily the top, top notch, the most easiest decision or the most fastest reload or the easiest reload, so to speak. But in my perspective, it's slightly a little easier. It's just a little bit more easier, a little bit more better. Makes your life that much, just just a smidget or just a little bit more easier in that sense. Hence why I just kind of switched it out. Thing. Okay, this is going to help, no problem. The last one, when I went into the whole uh, versus bots mode, like I, said, like I said before, to me the whole thing was like, a this whole light machine gun was like a shotgun anyways, because, like again, you can either... Aim down sight, and then you know, fire off around, or just or just let the enemy have it, or fire from the hip, and so go like just unleash a shitload of uh, bullets onto the guy and just let him have it. So either way, it doesn't matter. Plus that whole laser sighting. Uh, the whole laser sighting underneath the light machine gun, that big time helps. Like I said, it's on like uh, it was on the far, on the far left that it, when it was exposed. See something like that? It helps. Like I know that you have all these all these other type of uh, attachments, like uh, the pros versus the cons. If I if uh, if there is like um, a like a like like one type of uh, con or two with a very very low percentage that can that can easily slow your performance down. My very first thought was, well, that's a very 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 minor type of cost. I suppose I suppose I can I can I can you know I can bite that I, I guess I suppose I can I can accept that I can buy into that whatever I suppose so. But for the most part, I try to go for the just the strict type of. Uh, pros into that area so at least I have more of a bang for my buck and I more have a high quality type of uh, like a high quality high performance type of a weapon with me so that way when I go in there at least I have well it's keep in mind it's not going to be necessarily the top 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 notch 
top notch type of uh, type of weapon, type of a gun. Because if that were to be the case, I'm pretty sure every COD player would be going after that same type of weapon and taking all of their targets out with a great deal amount of ease. But if every COD player was going after the same weapon, the competition would be either very very high as to who's going to take who out and who's to say anyone's going to win. But again, then again, you would have to be more tactful, so I guess that could weigh out the whole, weigh out the whole means as it is. Like I said before, the kind of gun that I customized, it's not going to be the you know the top notch, top notch best there is. But you know, things like that just just kind of make make you know make your make your gameplay that much easier. But again, that's just my perspective, anyways. Okay, so now that, you know, we're done with the whole M60, and like I said, now this is a kick-ass type of a weapon, I like this. So like I said before, with the whole versus bots mode, I was either, I, was, I could either have the, had the whole, uh, had the whole option idea of either aiming down sight, or... Like I said, firing through the whole scope or firing from the hip. Either way, it doesn't matter. You're still you're covered either way. Okay, so now here's something else we'll go ahead and cover here. Now I managed to go ahead and switch out some of the of the different type of uh, little sayings for Rambo. And these are some other type of features I had gotten for me. It's like, ah, what the hell? So the whole part of telling the time. I know that's not Rambo's uh, actual watch. I forgot to equip that on there. But if you want to go, if you want, if you want the bundle, definitely worthwhile. Go for it. The watch is in there, and it's up to you if you want to wear it or not. I, th I just thought this was rather a bit more futuristic. Like, I'll wear this. What the hell? It's kind of nice. And let's see kind of other features that Rambo's got. Now I've already ha we've already had gone through these on the last video here, so it's like yeah, no, I don't think it's really any need. If you want to know what he says through any of these, uh, just watch the the last the last uh, Rambo video that I had produced. It will be all on there. So let's check out the whole rock on. I'm coming to get you. Hold on. I'll find you. You little bastard. I'm coming to get you. Well, that's not something I tested. Um, no, that's not something I actually tested. Well, when you get the whole rock on, you would think, uh, like, the whole rock on, you would end up automatically thinking along the lines of like, uh, yeah, man, you, yeah, man, you, you, you beat him down to the court, kicked his ass, rock on, buddy, yeah, nice. No, but apparently you got a whole bunch of like uh, intimidation from from uh, from Rambo right there, like uh, like I'm coming to get you, I'm gonna come and finish you off or something like that. It's like that totally throws a whole hand gesture right there, completely way off. So that doesn't make any sense. But let's go with the other ones here. What he has. I don't know if he's going to say anything with the next one here, but we'll see. No more. I'll find you. This is the end. I guess every time I uh, get Rambo to flip off the bird, hey, it was a new feature, so like I'll throw this in the video. Every time like he would flip off the bird, he has a different type of a quarter line that he would say. Okay, I was not expecting that. Seriously, I wasn't. Well, I figured he was gonna maybe say something, but at the same time, it's like, wow, 
every single word that he uses, it's going to, every, every time he flips off the bird, he's got a different kind of quoted line. As opposed to something like down here, it's all the same thing, but when it comes to something like that, that's different. Like, that was, okay, that was different. I was not at all expecting that. Now, I don't know if he's going to say anything about this here, but this is also another feature that I got through the whole um, achievements here. So, have a look at this. Gaming well off duty. Well, what the hell, I guess. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if this was actually in the military that he was doing this, he probably would have been uh, disciplined for that. But I don't know. That's, that's just my guess. Who the hell knows? By the way, another thing I want to show all of you here that uh, there's also another type of uh, um, little thing I'm gonna just going to through, go through with you on that. Now... <clears throat> Here's something else here I thought this was really weird and I couldn't quite understand this as to why. Now, I'm going to show you the clip of the, all what that's, all that's within the whole Ra Rambo bundle. If you want to pause the video and have a look at it, go on ahead. I'll let you go ahead and just pause it, for, pause it here for a second. It's the same type of clip I used in the last video here, but I'm going to show you something here. Now, out of all the weapons within, within that bundle, again, I'm just going to show you very quickly here, and I want you to have a look at it here, and then go ahead and then continue, and then hit the whole play, play button again. So, have a look at this. Okay, so all of you just finished seeing that clip of the entire type of content within that Rambo bundle, right? So it contained like uh, two types of uh, finishing moves, uh, his combat knife, um, the, uh, his, um, like, uh, his automatic rifle, the, uh, the AK-47, and... This big ass gun right here. Rambo's version of the M60. Okay, so there was uh, his, well, obviously his, uh, the skin so you can dress up as Rambo, uh, watch, his combat knife, uh, the two guns, uh, the two finishing moves, and there's other stuff in there. But, like, I'm not too sure if any of you had picked this up or not, but there's something in that bundle that was missing. I thought that was a bit of a mild disappointment and rather confusing. I don't know what the hell gave with that. But there was one particular item that was missing. And this item, this type of weapon, well, I'll give you a bit of a bit of a hint on this one here. It's a it's it's not just a weapon that he also has used especially in in the movies. Okay, especially in the movies. This type of this type of we weapon is a silent weapon. This type of weapon is is a silent weapon that Rambo has used in all of the films and all of the movies. He has used this silent weapon, and it's not in the bundle for some strange reason. I thought that was weird. Now, if you don't know what kind of silent weapon that is, no, not the combat knife. No, no, not the combat knife. The two, uh, the two automatic weapons. Well, that those, no, those will give you away. Those are very loud noise because they make that whole type of um, noise. No. Uh, again, it's a different type of silent weapon that uh, you can that you can still you can still try to hit someone from from a far distant range, and you have to have a good aim for that. But it's not in there. Now, what type of silent weapon am I referring to? Okay. Here is a now here is a clip I put together. It's within um, the video that I had produced, which it which is um, um, 
it's 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 within the whole uh, Black Ops Cold War campaign called Break On Through, and you and it's the kind of uh, silent weapon that you see uh, the character Bell use when he's trying to do a bunch of uh, stealth takedowns, such as this weapon right here. Yes, that weapon. It's the bow and arrow weapon. And Bell just finished giving off a demonstration and an example that it, he was in stealth mode and he was taking out those guy. He was taking out uh, those enemies with a silent weapon, which is the bow and arrow. And that, like again, that's just an example that I had Bell use in order to kind of capture that footage and give off an example. Now the thing is that technically Rambo can use the bow and arrow. Well, he actually has used a bow and arrow, but it was in this world right here, obviously in the whole zombie world. But it's obviously as it is like uh, the footage that I captured, it's not in this world or this map right here. It's in a different type of it's in a different type of world where there's plenty of snow all around. And here's a good type of, uh, obviously here is the footage of Rambo using a power bow. A bow, no sound. See, right there. So, like, uh, when you do get the power bow in the zombie world here, or whichever type of zombie world that, that you're in, yes, Rambo do does end up using the power bow, but only it, if it uh, spontaneously pops up somewhere and it's available for Rambo to use. And he actually says some really cool lines with it, like, um, uh, silent weapon makes no noise or something like that. And it was actually pretty cool to see Rambo use that power bow because he has very, very often he has. Well, I'm not sure how often he uses the power bow in uh, any of the any of the Rambo movies, but it's like a, there's a good chunk of percentage of Rambo using the whole uh, power bow, the whole uh, um, bow and arrow, and like in um, and plenty of that type of action uh, action clips that he has. Uh, had that Sly Stallone has gotten Rambo to use the, the power bow, the whole bow and arrow against the, against the enemies, just to make a whole bunch of silent attacks. And my very first thought was like, don't worry, like, again, it's available for to use either in the zombie world or like uh, the whole online player versus player and so on. Huge assumption on my end, of course you can. But at the same time, that weapon is not available in in the bundle. I thought that was kind of strange, yet there, yet apparently um, there are crossbows that's available that you can use either online, either player versus uh, versus the game, or player versus player, or even in the zombie world here. Like you can use a crossbow apparently, but they, well, yeah, but well, I don't think Rambo has ever used a crossbow, but a power bow, like a a bow and arrow, where the hell is that? How come that, like, is that, like, not available or in, in this game here and Rambo just doesn't have it? Or, like, that that part I found that to be rather confusing. Like, that, that made no sense. I don't get that. But for the most part of things, like, uh, most, to me anyways, most of the weapons were inside that bundle. So, like I said, I thought I would go ahead and share that with you here. Because, like, uh, I, I didn't see no bow and arrow. Like, that was kind of weird. I don't know why. 
because like he had I know that Rambo has used plenty of weapons including uh, um, the AK-47 um, the M60 which is this weapon here that uh, that I have Rambo using right now and the the combat knife I think well where the hell is where the hell is the, is the damn bow I don't get that well, you know, keep in mind, it's been a while since I've watched any of the movies. So, so that was the whole uh, review right there uh, of the two other weapons that he has, uh, that I got him, to, that I have, or I had gotten him to use, and the other type of quotes that he, uh, that he does say in the whole battle, and whatever the case may be. So, uh, one second here, just need to have a quick look at something here. I'm just looking at, just looking at my notes here. Okay, and... We'll go on ahead and pretty much now that I've already explained everything here, we'll go ahead and have Rambo hit the lobby. And there you go everyone, that literally wraps up for Rambo's version of the whole versus bots, uh, you know, gameplay and uh, some of the reviews on some of his, some of his like uh, bundle equipment and, and so on. And, uh, well, I've got, like, uh, when it comes to the whole shoot em up type of rounds, I got, in my perspective, I have one more, and after that, I do have a few more type of, uh, versus bots type of, uh, battles to go on, but this, but those ones will be, those ones will be a little different, and we'll, we'll inevitably get to that point in time. So all the same, everyone. I hope you did enjoy this video and all the details along with it, along with uh, the playable character Rambo and along with the bundle and so on here. This is Mac. Please be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button. And on top of that, if you have any comments or questions in relation to this video here, go ahead and throw it into the comment section. And I'll be able to get more along the way here. So until then... Everyone, thank you very kindly for your great support. Always greatly appreciating. Very highly content about that. It does help me out very much in the long run of things. And I'll get more on the go here. Peace out and stay gold.